What's he doing here? Wayne. What are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question. Jens, right? Actually, it's Jens to you, and I yeah, wish Jens. you- Jens. Yeah. So that was confusing, the J, you know, why? So what are you doing here? Here to see the Patron? Yeah, me too. Well, I have an offering in my case here for the Patron. Oh, do you really? It's interesting, because I'm here to show him a few things that I have for him in my case. What you been up to lately? Um, you know, same old stuff, guess all of us things. Whining and dining record labels and things like that. Mm. Doing a lot of recording. Uh, yeah, I played at Carnegie Hall not too long ago. Oh, really? What's that, about uh, 2,200? I've played Memorial Day, San Francisco Giants, 42,000 people, live TV. Really, what song did you play? Canadian National Anthem, I'm guessing, right? It's actually the American Anthem. Thanks for asking, though, yeah. Really? You know that? Being a Canadian. I happen to have a green card. I've been, I've been called for some of those, but I actually don't have time. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's interesting. You have a green card, but you don't seem to work here much. I'm not... I don't work because, unlike you, I actually play in tune. Well, in tune is kind of a, a relative uh, thing. I know in your country, you guys play 444? 444, 444, that's right. An interesting... Kind of a European concept, you know? some shimmer to it, unlike your dead tone, which is... Uh... It's interesting the way it matches the mallet instruments, you know, being a little higher than them. Is... So you um, showed up with the same case that I have. Oh, yes, it was actually designed for me originally by the guard company. Not so sure that's the way it went down, Wayne. I think I may have received the first one before they got to you. You were first. I stand corrected on that. You got the first prototype, and they gave it to many of the lower echelon players. They like to send their prototypes and let the grunt guys kind of work them out, get the bugs out of them before they put them in production. I see how it is. I think we're going to have to let the Patron figure this out, actually. Oh, yeah. Well, why don't we do that? In fact, why don't I also take the lead and head in there first? That ought to be something new for you. Yes. Well, I'll do my best, but I'm sure you'll be as inconsistent as usual. Mm. Good luck, Wayne. Patron, in this case, I bear gifts for you. First, this beautiful sterling silver piccolo trumpet. Patron, I too have many gifts for you directly from Germany, from the hands of Reinhold Friedrich himself, also a piccolo trumpet, specialized for the Brandenburg Concerto. I've also traveled internationally, from Canada, one of the great Italian trumpeters of all time, Guido Basso presents to you this gold-plated flugelhorn from this guard case. Patron, I also have a flugelhorn for you. The sterling silver flugelhorn from another famous Italian, a real Italian, Chuck Mangione. And this horn feels so good. Patron, also from my guard tripper wheelie, I have, directly from the great symphonic player, Ryan Anthony, principal trumpet of the Dallas Symphony Orchestra, Canadian brass, renowned soloist, and this horn plays only straight eighth notes for you, Patron. Patron, I offer you one final gift. This beautiful gold trumpet. This instrument never plays straight eighth notes. It only swings, and it comes with a built-in double high C. Not that you would ever need it, sir. In fact, legend has it that the sound of this trumpet can summon a hummingbird. Patron, I too have a final offering, specially designed for you. Carlos Fuente sends his regards. This is all I need, and I got this from Arturo Sandoval. first dummy.